just like you know the body is also classified as vata pitta kapha the land which we see around us is also classified as vata pitta kapha welcome to yet another week the shloka of the week under the world as doshas so today um we will be seeing the classification of the geographical land so we have seen the body you know if we draw a line between the umbilicus and the heart the area below the umbilicus is vata between the umbilicus and the heart is pitta and above the heart is kapha likewise this whole land where we live okay earth has been divided as vata pitta and kapha according to their predominance certain qualities okay so that that differentiation of land is what we are going to see today so this is also from ashtanga hridaya first chapter sutra sthana shloka number 24 okay it has been beautiful explained how just like the body how land also has been divided as vata pitta kapha this is how the shloka goes bhumi deha prabhedena desham ahuriha dvidha jangalam vada bhuyishtam anupam tu kapodvanam sadharanam samamalam tridha bhudesham adishe okay so you can see the transliteration భూమి దేహ ప్రభేదేన దేశ మాహురిహ ద్విధ జాంగలం వాద భూయిష్టం ఆనూపం తు కపోత్పనం సాధారణం సమమలం త్రిధ భూదేశం ఆదిశే త్రిధ భూదేశం ఆదిశే త్రిధ మీన్స్ త్రివిధ ఇన్ టు త్రీ భూదేశం భూ ఇస్ భూమి దేశం మీన్స్ దేశం ద జోగ్రఫికల్ ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ ది అర్త్ హ్యాస్ బిన్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు త్రీ దట్ ఇస్ వాట్ దట్స్ హౌ ద శ్లోక ఎన్స్ but the first line is very interesting the first and the second bhumi deha prabhedena desham ahuriha dvidha when we call desham desham means um, uh, a, a classification of a certain area it can be a country or it can be a land it can be any classification so desham is basically classified so bhumi deha prabhedena desham ahuriha dvidha desham is two types that's that's how the shloka says desham is of two types one is bhumi desha bhumi desha bhumi means earth the land of the earth other one is deha desha that means the body okay the body also is considered to be a desha desha is where things can happen so bhumi desha is one classification and deha desha is another classification we already saw in the in a few weeks back how vata pitta kapha so below the umbilicus is uh, vata predominantly between the umbilicus and the heart is pitta and above the heart is kapha predominantly that is how the deha desha is now how about the bhumi desha so bhumi desha let us get to the meaning of it desham has been classified into two bhumi desha and deha desha that's what we just discussed land okay when you look at bhumi desha bhumi desha is classified into three okay J- the jangalam vata bhuyishtam the vata land is called jangalam anupam tu kapodvanam when you have got predominance of kapha it is called anupam so land classified into three vata land is jangalam kapha land is anupam and when it is balanced it is sadharanam sadharanam samamalam okay tridha bhudesham adishet so the sadhar when when the vata pitta kapha are in balance it is called sadharana desha so this is what it means if we look into it a little bit deeper okay you saw vata desha you saw kapha desha but we never saw pitta desha why there is there might be pitta predominant deshas desha but pitta land is not where somebody can actually live like you know 
if you have got extreme heat it's not a place where we can live nowadays yes people are living by having air conditioners and all those things it is not it's not a place where we can actually live and prosper or probably in a volcanic place you know where the volcanoes are happening it is it is it is fire burning there you cannot live there so pitta desha has not been mentioned by the acharya he has only told jangalam is see the dry areas where uh, you know it's too rocky when you don't have too many too much of water there and you don't have huge trees all bushes okay so those areas are basically called the jangala desha predominantly vata desha that doesn't mean that you won't have water places just like you know uh, in the head we consider as kapha but still you have got the eyes which we consider it to be pitta so even though it is a kapha place you have got pitta here is vata you have got vata okay likewise when you have got a very dry and arid place which is rocky and bushes and all those things which is predominantly vata you can still have some lakes there some rivers go passing through that you can have kapha pockets in the vata predominant land likewise the uh, kapha predominant land which is a marshy land which get which gets a lot of rain huge trees very much green you know and um, Ma- see a uh, lot of uh, humid place that is a predominantly kapha area you might have uh, you know certain dry areas there it's predominantly kapha place and that is called anupadesha so basically anupadesha jangala desha and then sadharana desha sadharana desha is a land where the vata pitta and kapha are basically a balanced when they are in balance we call that area sadharana okay so bhumi and deha body and land are the two deshas and each uh, the body and and the land has been classified as vata pitta kapha that is jangala anupa okay but there is no pitta land pramana pitta land the balanced land is called sadharana Thank you.